Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be going over the absolute best way to unlock the brand new VLK Rogue Shotgun here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So of course guys, if you didn't already know, yesterday at the time of me making this video with Modern Warfare Update 1.17, there was a brand new DLC shotgun that was added into the game for 100% free and chances are, if you guys are watching this video, you probably didn't know about this shotgun because of course this shotgun released in the standard multiplayer at the exact same time Warzone went live so uh, it means that a lot of people like myself were too busy playing warzone that they didn't get a chance to check out this rogue shotgun however if you guys have been playing warzone for the last 24 hours and you want to hop back into multiplayer and unlock the brand new shotgun make sure you watch this video because of course what we'll be discussing is the absolute fastest way to unlock it so yeah guys with all that said if you go on to enjoy this video make sure y'all leave a like on it down below also subscribe for more modern warfare as well as warzone content and all right guys so of course to kick off today's video I am going to be talking a little bit about the brand new shotgun. Now, as I mentioned a little bit earlier in this video, the new shotgun is indeed called the VLK Rogue. Now, the description for the weapon reads an agile 12 gauge mag fed shotgun from VLK with extensive options to modify range, stability, and maneuverability. Interestingly enough, this particular shotgun is kind of a pump action shotgun, and in a lot of ways, it actually reminds me of the R9 shotgun when it comes to its firing mechanics as well as overall gameplay. And also, as you quickly want to mention and as we did know that this particular DLC weapon was going to be releasing for quite a little while now being that this particular weapon was actually featured in the roadmap that we did end up receiving for Modern Warfare Season 2. Now what I find really interesting and that's the VLK Rogue Shotgun actually draws many similarities to the crossbow DLC weapon that we got in the late stages of Modern Warfare Season 1. Being that of course similar to the crossbow this particular DLC weapon is not unlocked through the battle pass and instead it's actually unlocked via a challenge. Now interestingly enough this particular challenge for the rogue shotgun is a little bit easier to complete than for the crossbow because if you guys remember the challenge for the crossbow you need to get five kills with any marksman rifle with three attachments on in 25 separate games so you are going to be unlocking that weapon however for the rogue shotgun all you need to do is use any shotgun of your choosing with five different attachments on it and you have to get seven kills in 15 different matches and they are going to be unlocking the shotgun so uh, i find it pretty interesting because this particular shotgun all you need to do is play 15 different matches compared to the crossbow where you need to play 25 and overall to play the 15 different matches that's going to be roughly an hour and a half to two hours of game time which to be honest isn't really too bad in my opinion especially if you consider the fact that you are going to be getting a brand new dlc weapon and yeah with that said now i am going to be talking about a couple of things that you can do so that way you can unlock this challenge the absolute fastest and all right so breaking down this challenge a little bit the first thing that you need to do is pick a shotgun and when it comes to picking a shotgun it really doesn't matter because pretty much every single shotgun in this game is really good, especially if you are going to be playing on the right map. So when it comes to picking a shotgun, it really just comes down to whatever one you're the most comfortable with. So if you're the most comfortable with, let's say the 725, then use the 725. However, if you want to use something like the R9 or the Origin, then use those particular shotguns. The only requirement is you have to pick a shotgun. They have at least five different attachments unlocked on it. Okay, so now you got the shotgun, you got the attachments on it. And now let's talk about the methods that you can use so that way you can unlock this particular challenge the fastest so uh, when it comes to unlocking this challenge i would highly recommend that you play the shoot the ship mosh pit of course the shoot the ship mosh pit is shipment as well as shoot house 24 7 and those are the two smallest maps in the game so uh, that means that they're pretty much perfect for using a shotgun on and as i mentioned before shoot the ship is a mosh pit so that means there are going to be a ton of different game modes that you are going to be playing now what we recommend is try to lobby surf a little bit and see if you can get into a game of either tdm or kill confirmed because those two game modes are the shortest ones in this game so that means you are going to be playing as well as completing a lot of games in a very short amount of time and this is extremely useful because of course you want to complete 15 games to unlock the challenge so that's really the best game mode to play as well as this is something a lot of people tend to forget and that is the challenge only says you need to get seven kills in a match it doesn't say you have to use a shotgun throughout the entire game so if you really want to get this done quickly and maybe you don't really like using shotguns what you're gonna do is choose whatever shotgun you want to use make a class up on it hop in the shoot the ship find a match of TDM or kill confirmed, start off the game by using the shotgun. However, once you get those seven kills, switch over to whatever class setup that you want to use, finish off the game, and then rinse and repeat that 15 times, and then you are going to be unlocking the VLK Rogue. So yeah, guys, it's really as easy as that to unlock the brand new DLC shotgun here in Modern Warfare. So with all that said, that's going to effectively wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like on it down below, as well as subscribe for more Modern Warfare as well as Warzone content. So yeah, guys, 
excessive foreskin be it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one.